What's going on guys? This is Joe. And Amy. And we are here once again for a fiancé bundle battle. Now, for every other bundle battle in the past, whether you're new here or a returner, we have always done one set at a time. But, this is Ixalan and Rivals of Ixalan. Rivals of Ixalan, according to Wizards of the Coast, is going to be the last small set it's going to be the last two set block. And so what we decided to do in honor of that was to take the last two sets and do a bundle battle of both bundles together at, in honor of that. Now, these are Amy's bundles. I'm going to pass them over to her Thank so you. that we keep them separate so that there's no shenanigans. I have mine right here. And what we're going to do is, if you guys are new, uh, here's how bundle battles work. They're finance, the fiance finance bundle battle. We're going to open each bundle. We are going to show you all the cards uh, that we get out of the packs. We'll quickly, I'll quickly show off what we get. You get this little book here, the player's guide. We'll put that on the side. You get this little box thing on the bottom that kind of fills out the space that this sleeve has left in it. There's this thing that can move out of the way. And then there's the actual box itself, the bundle box, formerly the fat pack box. And you've got this whole thing here. This whole side only has the D20 in it. Now again, this is Ixalan. If you have to remember back to Ixalan, there's the set symbol. You guys will see the cards from it as well. But there is the D20. We have the cards inside. I'm gonna get all of this box and packaging out of the way. There's the lands as well. Nice big stack of basics there. Uh, and we're gonna move on to the packs themselves. We will show you the results like actual, <laughs> God bless you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we will show you the actual monetary results later uh, after we have both opened our two uh, bundles each, but we're gonna be taking out packs or cards, I should say, that are worth a dollar or more and counting them towards our totals. Um, and I have traditionally done very well at this, so Amy should be worried because I'm not. Yeah, well, just just don't go back and look at the other videos to, to prove me right, because yeah. you should just trust me. I'm, I'm a pretty trustworthy guy. So we have you a... You are, typically, but not in this particular... <laughs> well, I'm, but I'm going to win, so. Okay. We have a Desperate Castaways, a Sun-Crowned Hunters, Vampire's Zeal, a Deadeye Tormentor, Siren Lookout, Ravenous Daggertooth, a Contract Killing, nice removal spell, Hijack, Water Trap Weaver, Blinding Fog, Stormfleet Aerialist is the first uncommon, Raider's Wake is the second, Bright Reprisal is the third, and the, my first rare or mythic is... Yeah, number 10 for the 10 most expensive cards uh, from Ixalan is Hostage Taker. So here is a Hostage Taker. I love this card a lot, personally, plus it's valuable, which is totally relevant in this scenario. So behind the Hostage Taker, just a mountain and a vampire token. We move on to a vampire conquistador pack. So just so you guys are aware, because we always try to say this, depending on when you're watching this video, please check the date stamp below when you watch this video to find out when the video was posted. We are filming this the weekend before the video goes live. So if the values have changed, please don't be upset with us. We're going off the values as they are today. We have a Skyblade of the Legion, Skittering Heartstopper, Dual Shot, Slash of Talons, Commune with Dinosaurs, Sailor of Means, Water Trap Weaver, Blinding Fog, Paladin of the Bloodstained, Gilded Sentinel, Elaborate Fire Cannon is the first uncommon, Rigging Runner is the second, and Imperial Aerosaur is the third. I like this guy a lot. And my next rare or mythic is a Priest of the Wakening Sun. Definitely not in the top 10. I don't believe it's over a dollar either. I don't think it's even on the list at all, but here's a Priest of the Wakening Sun. Gorgeous art on this card. I was card. just gonna say that. <laughs> so not valuable uh, as a card, but the art is really sweet. Behind the Priest we have a Swamp and a Dinosaur Token. Move on to a Slash of Talons Watley pack. And we have a Sure Strike Queen's Commission, a Spike-Tailed Ceratops Pirate's Prize, Costly Plunder, a Headwater Sentries, Hierophant's Chalice, Territorial Hammer Skull, that's a sweet card, I like that a lot, Direfleet Interloper, Imperial Lancer is the first uncommon, Fiery Cannonade is the second, and a Lurking Chupacabra is the third. Ooh. Yeah, this guy's cool. He's, he's all right. 
you know, value-wise, etc. But our my next rare mythic is a Fathom Fleet Captain. I like this guy a lot as well. Uh, not on the list of valuable cards, but still, I think he's a cool card. Behind him, a Foil Opt. Foils do count, although I was not able to make a list of the most valuable foils because I didn't have that kind of time. But I will definitely be looking this up later for myself. This is yeah, a... but it's an opt. It is an opt, <laughs> which has been printed many times. Probably the older cards are the ones that are more expensive, but still, we'll look it up. I like opt a lot. And the foiling pattern was kind of sweet. Uh, behind that, we have a flip token and a treasure token. Move on to a Fire Shrine Keeper pack. Let's see what we have in here. I got, I started off strong and I have been slowly flaming out. We have a Frenzied Raptor, Slash of Talons, Queen's Agent, Blossom Dryad, Storm Sculptor, Pirate's Cutlass, Vanquish the Weak, Jungle Delver, Ancient Brontodon, Tishana's Wayfinder, a Grim Captain's Call is the first uncommon, Ranging Raptors is the second, and Call to the Feast is the third. This is a nice card as well. And my next rare mythic is... Yeah! Second most expensive, Carnage Tyrant. This guy is sweet. At uh, release of Ixalan, I believe he was the most expensive, but Search for Ezkanta has beaten it. But here's a Carnage Tyrant. Not upset at all. That is fantastic. This card's great. Yeah, that's good. That's a real good start for me. Behind. Hopefully that's the best thing you get. No, I'm going to get lots more. Maybe I'll get another Carnage Tyrant. Behind it, I have an island and a vampire token. Amy's trying to jinx me. We have a Varaska pack next. Varaska would be sweet to get. She's on the list. She's number three. Okay, so we have a Fathom Fleet Cutthroat. We have a Nest Robber, Sunrise Seeker, Prosperous Pirates, a Deep Root Warrior, Ancient Brontodon, Pounce, sweet card, Prying Blade, a Headstrong Brute, Kinjali's Collar, Rigging Runner is the first uncommon, Wild Growth Walker is the second, and Savage Stomp, also a sweet card, is the third. My next rare or mythic is a Herald of Secret Streams. He's on the list somewhere, but he's definitely not in the top ten. So, but I'll leave him on the side because I believe he is more than a dollar. Merfolk is definitely a thing. So, behind the Herald of Secret Streams, just a planes and a treasure token. Luckily, we got in on doing this after the standard bannings, which gave the cards the ability to have a little bit more value to them. So there were more on the list, which is nice. We have a Vampire Zeal, Desperate Castaways, Fire Shrine Keeper, a Crash the Ramparts, Shipwreck Looter, Headwater Sentries, Vanquish the Weak, Pirate's Cutlass, Anointed Deacon, Stormfleet Pyromancer, Imperial Lancer again is the first uncommon, Lookout's Dispersal is the second, and Unclaimed Territory, this is actually on the list, is the third, so I'm going to set that on the side, and my rare or mythic is a Sanguine Sacrament. This card is probably at the bottom of the list. Mm -hmm. I feel like there are probably some uncommons and commons that I opened that were more expensive than this card. But anyway, behind it, we have a forest and a pirate token. We have, I have, four more packs left. We're over halfway through. We've gotten some sweet stuff so far, but I don't think we need to stop. We have a skittering heart stopper, dual shot, slash of talons, mark of the vampire, commune with dinosaurs, sailor of means, pious interdiction, beautiful art on that card as well, crushing canopy, Unfriendly Fire, Dive Down, a, a Vampire, or a Vicious Conquistador. I said Vampire earlier. Oh, well. Uh, Walk the Plank, sweet card, and a River Sneak. And the rare or mythic in this pack is an Old Growth Dryads, also a bad rare. Unfortunate. Uh, behind that, we have a Mountain and a Treasure Token. As I've said in, like, every instance of this video, I say we a lot, or us. You guys know who's kits or who's or who's bundles or who's, uh, but that's just how I say it. We have a Dire Fleet Hoarder, Dual Shot, Legion Conquistador, a Mark of the Vampire, Ixali's Diviner, Opt, Duress, Unfriendly Fire, a Ritual of Rejuvenation, Cancel, Vine Shaper Mystic is the first uncommon, Dire Fleet Captain is the second, 
and Glorifier of Dusk is the third. My next rare mythic is a Blood Crazed Paladin. While it's got sweet colors, it's not on the list. But behind it, just a swamp and a treasure token. I have two packs left. Fire Shrine Keeper is the first pack. Hopefully, I can get more stuff out of here, although I will be moving on to Rivals next, and then we'll go to both of Amy's. We have a Bishop Soldier, March of the Drowned, Ryle, Shining Aerosaur, Opt, Ixali's Diviner, Unfriendly Fire, Cancel, seeing a lot of duplicates here, Colossal Dreadmaw, Demystify, Duskborn Sky Marcher is the first uncommon, Lookout's Dispersal is the second, and a Marauding Looter is the third. My next to last rare or mythic is a Glacial Fortress. This is definitely on the list. Not high on the list. It's number 17 if I'm looking at it correctly, but it's on the list. So here's a Glacial Fortress. Good thing about dual lands is they're probably going to be expensive. So there's that. Behind the Glacial Fortress, just an island and a dinosaur token. So that was nice to get something there. We still have one pack left. One more chance for you to get nothing. <laughs> yeah, you're just nervous because I opened Carnage Siren. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I still got rivals next after, don't worry. I got a Rummaging Goblin, Sunrise Seeker, Fathom Fleet Cutthroat, whoops, a Sun Crowned Hunters, a New Horizons, One with the Wind, D Colossal Dreadmaw, Demystify, another contract killing. It's been a while since we saw that. Hijack, a sleek schooner is the first uncommon. Makeshift munitions is the second. And charging monster sword, surprisingly not on the list. I would have thought it would be. I think the card's insane. Anyway, the maybe it's just a limited all star and just nowhere near constructed, but playable. But anyway, behind it, our rare or mythic is a fleet swallower, also a garbage rare. Don't laugh at that. That's not funny. I didn't laugh. <laughs> I breathed out. <laughs> yeah, loudly. <laughs> it was a scoff. Yes. Well, this card is bad. Uh, behind Fleet Swallower, just a planes. Not a lot of uh, foils for me in this box. And a treasure token. So we're going to... It's already zoomed in, but regardless, I'm moving on you to the Rivals box. Don't even bother. Don't even bother? <laughs> Again, somebody's lost. scared. <laughs> Ugh, Carnage Tyrant is... Pretty intimidating, I understand that, but we'll see what I get out of Rivals. It's the same exact thing we get the the book, as you guys saw, the player's guide. Uh, we get the box. It looks like a book. Yeah, well. Uh, we'll move all that garbage off to the side. We get the white D20, which is sweet, in the, in the box. That's awesome. Leave that on the side as well. And then the packs and the land here's the land see that we'll move that off to the side as well we'll put it over here <laughs> i'll keep it away from you god i got a lot of cleaning to do after this jesus <laughs> all right so here's the <laughs> here's the packs get the quick reference guide out of the way we have the frill death spitter pack first let's get right into these okay Actually, sorry, I said let's get right into them, and what I really meant was let's clean off some space so I can actually do this. <laughs> All right, so we have a... The bad part about doing two in a row. <laughs> yeah, well, it's the, there's a first time for everything. Sanguine Glorifier, Sea Legs, Araska Frillback, Fathom Fleet Border, a Deadeye Rig Hauler, Gruesome Fate, Mutiny, sweet card, Gleaming Barrier, Cleansing Ray. Look at poor Ray. He didn't need to be cleaned that badly. We have a Cherished Hatchling as the first uncommon. Awesome card. We have a an Expel from Araska is the second. And a Needletooth Raptor, this guy's also awesome, is the third. My next rare or mythic is... A Champion of Dusk. Eh, card's fine. Not on the list. Behind Champion of Dusk... C cool! It's not on the list inherently, but I feel like this foil rare flip card... Uh, is gonna be over a dollar. Uh, it's a foil golden guardian, rare, flip card, which means that when you flip it over and it transforms into the gold forge garrison, that card is also in foil, or that side is also in foil, and the foiling pattern looks real sweet. 
That's fantastic. Even if that's not on the list, I'm just happy to have gotten a foil rare. That's so sweet. Uh, behind it, we have the token for the flip cards and a Pyromantic Pixels Minecraft ad card. I'll move on to an Angrath pack. That's awesome. Again, foil rares are sweet. Why is this pack not opening? Okay, that's why. We got it. We got it. We have a Goblin Trailblazer, Legion Conquistador, Sea Legs again, Dusk Legion Zealot, a Hardy Veteran, Araska Relic, Squire's Devotion, Secrets of the Golden City, Overgrown Armasaur, Gruesome Fate, a Storm Fleet Swashbuckler is the first uncommon, Riverwise Augur is the second, and Charging Tuscadon is the third. My rare or mythic in this pack is... A Slaughter the Strong. It is low on the list, but it is on the list, so it goes in my stack. That's pretty sweet. Behind Slaughter the Strong, just a mountain, and a Vampire token. So I guess that foil Golden Guardian was to make up for the lack of foils in my Ixalan uh, bundle. And by that I mean we got these Ixalan bundles a long time ago, so there's no way that, that that is the case. But I'll say it anyway. So we have a Frilled Death Spitter to start. Sun Crested Pterodon, Mist Cloaked Herald, Hunt the Weak. Such a cool piece of art on one. that. Yeah, it's awesome. Vampire Revenant, also a great card. Knight of the Stampede, Martyr of Dusk, Impale, speaking of sweet cards, Jade Bearer, Strength of the Pack is the first uncommon. Blazing Hope is the second, also sweet art on that one. And a Resplendent Griffin. And my rare or mythic in this pack is... An Awakened Amalgam, not on the list. Will this be the first pack where I don't get something on the list? Yeah, probably, because I don't think this brazen freebooter, uh, a foil common, is going to be on the list, despite the fact that it's a pretty sweet foiling pattern. But the card's just not that good. Anyway, behind that, we have a Plains and an Elemental Token. Sweet Elemental Token. All right, Riverwise Augur pack. We're getting through it. Okay, we have another Sanguine Glorifier to start. Sea Legs again. Sun Colored Raptor. Another Hunt the Weak. Dinosaur Hunter. Aggressive Urge. Jungle Born Paladin. Buccaneer's Bravado. Grasping Scoundrel. Secrets of the Golden City. A Jungle Creeper is the first uncommon. Stormfleet Sprinter is the second. And Shake the Foundations is the third. And my next rare or mythic is. It's going to be a flip card, which is actually means it's pretty likely to be on the list, and it is. Oh, okay, it's not on the list. Like I said, Golden Guardian, <laughs> not on the list, unfortunately. Although I'm sure, like I said, that the, that the flip version is, or the, the foil version is, but as you see, uh, as you saw already, Gold Forge Garrison is what it flips into, and we have a dinosaur token behind that. That's unfortunate. Here's the Sun Sentinel pack. That's cool though, I got two of them, whatever. No big deal. It's not like I'm trying to win a challenge or anything here. Uh, here's a Divine Verdict. River Darter. You shouldn't even try. Wow. Frilled Death Spitter. Again, now you're nervous because I got a foil rare. No. Vampire <laughs> Revenant. Knight of the Stampede. I'm still going to win. <laughs> to recover. Sad thing is you probably will. Uh, Luminous Bonds. That's really pretty. The Luminous Bonds or the Sworn Guardian? The, the Luminous Bonds. Ah, yes. Very pretty. Agreed. Sworn Guardian. Impale. Whoops. Bombard. Imperial Ceratops is the first uncommon. Golden Demise, I love this card so much, is the second. And a Crested Herdcaller is the third. And my rare or mythic is... A Dead Man's Chest. This card is not good, nor is it on the list, because it's not good. Well, it's just a chest. It's not <laughs> even, like, anything useful. Yeah. I mean, it's got sweet art. I'll give it that. Behind that, an Island and another ad card. That was a disappointing pack. Here is a Frilled Death Spitter. Hopefully this one is not Another a disappointing, disappointing pack. pack. Nope, nope, this one's gonna be good. Miss Cloaked Herald to start. A I goblin- I love the art on that too. The Herald, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, all the merfolk look awesome. Yeah, really all the art in this set is just gorgeous. Agreed. Here is a Goblin Trailblazer. Moment of Triumph. Dusk Charger. Look, look at that one. Yeah, here's this one. The Gilgrove Stalker as well. Talking about good looking merfolk. A Voracious Vampire. Dark Inquiry, Soul of the Rapids, Martyr of Dusk, a Sworn Guardian again, Aras or not Araska, Atzican, because of course that makes sense. Uh, it's an Atzican Seer, a Foul Orchard, 
and a Swift Warden. And my next rare or mythic is... An Itali Primal Storm. Again, somewhat low on the list, but still on the list. So it goes in the stack. Behind it is a Mountain and a Treasure Token. We have four packs left. We are over halfway through. I'm okay with it so far. It could do better. I feel like I'm okay with it too. Yeah, because it's not... I didn't get, what, anything in the top ten, I don't think? Not yet. Yeah, I don't see anything. Yeah, we'll see. Sun-Colored Raptor. A Moment of Triumph. Negate. That's pretty. Negate's gorgeous. Gorgeous negate art this time around. Uh, a Hardy Veteran. Voracious Vampire. Overgrown Armasaur. A Gruesome Fate. Exultant Sky Marcher. Shatter. Tilanali's Crown. A Curious Obsession. Sweet art on this card, too. Is our first uncommon. Merfolk Mistbinder. On the list, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! <laughs> is about? Uh, towards the bottom. Yeah. <sighs> I was going to say, I don't see it. Way to rub it in. Um, it's on the back. Yeah, it is. Merfolk Mistbinder. And Pride of Conquerors. And my next rare mythic is going to be towards the top of the list. Yeah! <laughs> I was totally right. It's the Immortal Sun. That's, uh, what, number five? Uh, yeah. So there you go. See, I told you it was towards the top of the list. Good, it was just Dave. wishful thinking. Thanks. Uh, but here's the Immortal Sun. I'm happy about that. Behind that, an island and the City's Blessing. That's pretty. Either. Yeah, the City's Blessing token looks sweet. Uh, next, we have a Moment of Craving pack. We start with my foil common that we got earlier in the Brazen Freebooter, Divine Verdict, a River Darter, Frilled Death Spitter, Dusk Charger, Jade Craft Artisan, Colossal Dreadmaw, Kite Sail Corsair, Jade Bearer, Traveler's Amulet, Sky Marcher Aspirant is our first uncommon, Ever Dawn Champion is the second, I love this card a lot. And a Reaver Ambush is the third. And my rare or mythic out of this pack is... Yeah! Oh, man, you're in trouble. Here's Azor the Lawbringer. Actually, you know what? <laughs> he's on there. Yeah, but he's like 14. Yeah, something like that. That's fine. He's not as good as you think he is. I mean, he's still something. I've opened other packs where I've gotten nothing, so I'm just taking what I can get. Here is Azor the Lawbringer. I'm happy about that. Behind that, a mountain and a merfolk token. I have two packs left. I've been doing well so far, but that doesn't mean I don't want more. I did just open two mythics and a foil rare out of this uh, bundle, so I don't know what the hell else I could do. But here we have a stampeding horn crest. We'll see when I get better cards. <sighs> what you could have done. Wow. A sun sentinel, a sailor of means, a dusk legion zealot, a hunt the weak, overgrown armosaur, water knot, Squire's Devotion, Mutiny, Shatter, Highland Lake is the first uncommon gorgeous art on that card. Yeah. Raging Regisar is the second, and a Majestic Heliopterus is the third. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Heliopterus. <laughs> and, right. and my second to last rare or mythic is a Seafloor Oracle. Not, not that good. Not on the list, not that good. It's Unfortunate. Pretty. Yeah, it looks cool. Again, it's a merfolk. They all look good. Behind the Seafloor Oracle is an island as I drop cards all over the floor and a another add card. We're going to move that off to the side now because Joe's making a mess. Okay, Moment of Craving is next. And by Joe's making a mess, I mean Joe's going to have to clean up that mess and is mad about it. So, here we have... As long as I don't have to do it. You don't. I'm the one that made it. Here is my last pack, starting with Legion Conquistador, Sea Legs, Frilled Death Spitter, Guilt Grove Stalker, Grasping Scoundrels, a uh, Scoundrel, an Overgrown Armosaur, Tillinali's Crown, a Squire's Devotion, Deadeye Rig Hauler, Slippery Scoundrel is the first uncommon, a Forerunner of the Empire is the second, and a Ravenous Chupacabra, towards the bottom but on the list, is the third, and my last rare or mythic is... Another Slaughter the Strong, like I said, towards the bottom, but still on the list. I think at this point, every th every little bit helps. Behind Slaughter the Strong, ooh, a foil uncommon in Highland Lake. Yay, it's so pretty. It's very pretty. I was just talking about how I liked this art. That's some sweet foiling. Also, it's a dual land. While it is a tap dual land at uncommon, 
I'll at least check it. It could be there. It could make it over a dollar. We'll see. Behind Highland Lake, a planes and a treasure token. Guys, we will be back with Amy's box in just a second. Okay, as promised, Amy is back with hers. We will see what she gets. Clearly, it won't be as good as mine, but... Well, you know, <laughs> yours was pretty good. Thanks. I do have to admit that. We, we already saw my bundle, so Amy's going to just kind of do what she's got to do to get this stuff out of here, get it out of the way, because you guys have seen what a bundle looks like already. And to be honest, right. if you haven't seen what a straight-up bundle looks like, then check it out online as well. We've done other openings, etc. So uh, Amy got the black T20. I'll get that out of her way. The packs and stuff. Here we are. So there's the Ixalan packs. Uh, why don't you get started with them? You want to leave that on? That's fine. Uh, and then we will see what she gets out of her first pack. Okay, guys. <clears throat> mm. Gotta reposition myself here. Good. Yeah. Okay, so we start with a Legion's Judgment, a Skullduggery. There we go. That's a little better. Yeah. Perfect. A Frenzied Raptor, a Pterodon Knight, New Horizons, one with the wind. I love this one so much. Yeah, it's a beautiful card. Water Trap Weaver, Hijack, Pious Interdiction, a Crushing Canopy, Inspiring Cleric, Lurking Chupacabra is the first, or the second uncommon, and a Deadeye Quartermaster is the third. Her first rare or mythic is an Entrancing Melody. Not on the list, a cool card nonetheless. Behind Sounds it, cool. yeah, a Forest hmm. and a Treasure Token. Okay. Next pack, Fire Shrine Keeper pack. Okay, this one... <laughs> What's some of them okay. are like that. There you go. It's just trapping good stuff inside of it. Oh. <clears throat> I just say that. I don't actually want that to be the case. Sun Crowned Hunters. A Vampire Zeal. Dead Eye Tormentor. Sure Strike. A Jade Guardian. One with the Wind. Whoops. A Duress. <laughs> I do it all the time. A, an Unfriendly Fire. That's a pretty card, too. Yeah. A Ritual of Rejuvenation. I love this one. Oh, Ugh, my God. The card is terrible. So uh, beautiful. <laughs> yeah, the art's cool. The card's <laughs> awful. Uh, cancel. Well, you can always tell the difference between <laughs> someone who doesn't necessarily play and someone who just loves, you know, <laughs> and someone who loves the art and someone who actually plays as right. to what cards they like. Uh, Sleek Schooner is the first uncommon. That one's cool. Yeah. Also... Not amazing. Uh, a makeshift <laughs> munitions and another lurking chupacabra. It likes you. Yeah. And you get a Fathom Fleet Captain. That is the same thing that I got, and uh, it's not on the list. Behind it, a flip token and a an illusion token. Beautiful. Mm. That you get from Jace. Really nice. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Moving on to a Vicious Conquistador pack. That also will not open for Look. Amy. There we go. <laughs> My hands are so chapped, too, that it hurts trying to do this. Oh, I'm sorry. I actually didn't know that. Yeah, uh, look at them. Yeah, I guess. It's like all red right. patches all over them. There is a nest robber to start. Shining Aerosaur. So pretty. Yeah. Dead Eye Tormentor again. A Rummaging Goblin. Hmm. Shaper Apprentice. New Horizons. Unfriendly Fire again. Ritual of Rejuvenation again. Mm -hmm. Cancel again. <laughs> Seems like a pattern. That's Colossal Dreadmaw. <clears throat> a Belligerent Brontodon is the first uncommon. Hmm, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, a Dinosaur Stampede is the uh, second he's uncommon. He's way cooler. Well, that's it, not an actual guy. It's a bunch of them. But yes, It's agreed. a bunch of awesome guys. <laughs> and the third is an Imperial Aerosaur. I got one of those earlier. The rare or mythic is, ha, 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 you made fun of me when I got it. It's a flame swallower. That card sucks. Uh, and then, <laughs> then a mountain. That's a cool mountain. Yes. And a treasure token. All right. You All need right. to, you got to pick this up. this up. Yeah. You got to pick this up big time. Speed this up because it's going slow and 
Hopefully get some good cards, because nah. so far it's a shit storm. <laughs> <laughs> You're sounding like me. You have a Dead Eye Tormentor to start, an Exali's Keeper, an Opt, Swashbuckling, Headwater Sentries, a Vanquish the Weak, Pirate's Cutlass, Anointed Deacon, Storm Fleet Pyromancer, Kite Sail Freebooter, Fiery Cannonade, Imperial Aerosaur again. And a Dire Fleet Hoarder is your foil, which means that you are going to have a flip rare, but you have a foil common in Dire Fleet Hoarder. We will check it, although I'm like 95% certain it will not be over a dollar. But still, okay, something so I to check. Keep it over here? Whatever. That's fine. Yes. And you have a treasure map. Low Yay. on the list, but on the list. And it flips into... I don't actually remember what that flips into. A Treasure Cove, of course. Silly me. A treasure cove. Behind treasure cove, you have a flip token, which makes sense, and a vampire token. Mm. On to the next pack. You got, wow, <laughs> six left. That's good for you, not good for me. I thought you were much further into it than that. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, boy. Okay, Queen's Agent to start. Brazen Buccaneers. Ravenous Daggertooth. Shaper Apprentice. A Dire Fleet Interloper. Uh, an Encampment Keeper. Not a fan of that card. Run Aground. An Unknown Shores. Another Swashbuckling. Another Headwater Sentries. A Vicious Conquistador. Ooh, Shapers of Nature. Not on the list, but amazing. I love that card so much. And another Fiery Cannonade. And the Rare or Mythic? Eh, it's a... <laughs> It's a Dire Fleet Ravager. It's a Mythic, but as far as I know, not on the list. Unfortunately. Uh, there is a Swamp and a Treasure Token. But, you got a Mythic. That's something. Meh. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> exactly. On to the next pack. There Seriously, you go. Seriously, these things are really sealed. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we start with a Sunrise Seeker. A Desperate Castaways, a Deep Root Warrior, a Shore Keeper. My pile is... Yeah, you're making a mess, too. Swimming into <laughs> everything now. Uh, a Windstrider, a Hierophant's Chalice, a Costly Plunder, a Fire Cannon Blast, Dire Fleet Interloper again, Encampment Keeper again. <clears throat> Excuse me, a Sheltering Light is the first uncommon. That is a gorgeous. A Favorable Winds is the next, yes. Not on the list, but a sweet piece of art. Oh, I hope I get that one in foil. <laughs> oh, that'd be awesome. Sweet. <clears throat> and another Shapers of Nature. And your rare is a Captivating Crew. Really, really good in, in uh, Limited, but not on the list. Well, dick bags. <laughs> Behind it <laughs> is an island and a vampire token. Well, so far you're winning. <laughs> By a lot. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> By a lot. This is this is poetic justice is what it is. Oh. <laughs> All right. So she starts with a bishop soldier. Great card. Uh, a March of the Drowned. Ravenous Dagger Tooth. A Tishana's Wayfinder. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> a Prying Blade. That card you really wanted everyone to see was the Headstrong Brute. Again, I do it all the time. Uh, a Kinjali's Collar. I love that art. <clears throat> it is cool. Card's just okay. Stormfleet Pyromancer. A shelter, a uh, spreading rot. Not a sheltering rot. A spreading rot. Hmm. A Kumena's Speaker is the first uncommon. That one's cool. Yeah, it's a really sweet card. A Stormfleet Aerialist is the second. And a Ranging Raptors is the third. Your Rare or Mythic, hey, it's on the list, is Yay! Settle the Wreckage. Very, very Amazing. nice. Amazing. Yeah. It's actually number nine. Mm -hmm. It's in the top ten. Ooh, and you got a Foil Uncommon in Ranging Raptors. That's cool. We will check and see if it is uh, over a dollar. Go. There you go. There's Didn't the Foiling pattern. Foil That's not see There's some sweet coloring on that card. That's a really good looking foil. I like that a lot. Yeah. Camera's not doing it too much justice. No. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, it sometimes happens that way. But, like I said, it's an uncommon. It might be on the list, although I doubt it, but we will check it, as we said. Okay. 
Behind it, a planes and a treasure token. You have three packs left from Ixalan, then we move on to Rivals, of course. <clears throat> Same as I did. And uh, Rivals is... Ah. Oh my goodness. Ah. Rivals is going to have to... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> like... <laughs> oh no. Rivals is going to have to do some major work for you, because Ixalan is not helping. Although, like I said, you got three packs left, so who knows. I didn't get number one on any of them, so maybe you will. Okay. You have another Bishop Soldier to start. Another March of the Drowned. Seems familiar. Nest Robber, uh, a Shining Aerosaur, Crash the Ramparts, a Shipwreck Looter, excuse me, a Commune with Dinosaurs, Sailor of Means, <coughs> Unfriendly Fire, Ritual of Rejuvenation again, a uh, Lightning Rig Crew. That one's pretty too. It is cool. A River Sneak, Ranging Raptors, and Root Bound Crag is your rare. That's okay. sweet. That, I believe, is on... Yeah, that's number 15. It's not in the top 10, but it's on the list. So there you go. Root Bound Damn. Crag is your rare. Uh, a Forest and a Treasure Token. You got two packs left. You're getting stuff on the list. You just got to, you know, pick it up a little bit. Oh, you got man. a number. You got number fifteen and number nine so far. Now I'm starting <laughs> to get nervous. Good, you should be nervous. You're gonna lose. <laughs> <laughs> you got a Legion Conquistador, Dire Fleet Hoarder, a Tillanali's Knight, uh, a Looming Altasaur, Ixali's Diviner, a Pir uh, Prosperous Pirates, a Deep Root Warrior. A Siren Lookout. <laughs> a Contract Killing. Really good card. We have not seen a lot of those today. We haven't seen the Siren Lookout much either. Mm. A Cancel. Ah, your first uncommon is Rallying Roar. An Emissary of Sunrise. Wow, that's gorgeous. Yeah, it's a really cool card. It's a really good card, too. Uh, and another River Sneak, and your rare or mythic in your second to last pack is an Arguel's Bloodfast. It's a flip card that is not on the list from my knowledge, but it flips into the. Oh my goodness. Temple of. At. Aklazots. However oh you say God. that. Oh my God. Aklazots. I have some not, temple. <laughs> I haven't seen that card enough. I'm very sorry. It's the <laughs> Temple of Aklazots. And then you have the flip token and a dinosaur token. I'm sorry. I'm usually really good at that. Uh, <clears throat> you okay. are. That's why you read all the cards and not me. Because <laughs> that uh, would bastardize them all. <laughs> all right. Amy, you are on to your last pack for Ixalan. Not to, you know, bring up a sore subject. But like I said, your rivals bundle will have to really pick it up for you. Well, you know, maybe it will. You it might. Know. It very much might. I didn't get a lot of stuff towards the top uh, of for uh, rivals, so this maybe... thing is uh, unsightly. <laughs> yeah, well, he's been riled up. So there's Ryle, Shining Arasar, a Fathom Fleet Cutthroat, a Nest Robber, a uh, Blossom Dryad. That is really pretty too. Yeah, it's a cool card. Uh, a Storm Sculptor. A River Herald's Boon. Oh my god, I love this art. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. See, a lot of sets, I try to pick one or two of my favorite arts, and this one, I there's no way I can pick. Well, there's so many mer The merfolk look amazing with their art. Uh, we have a Prosperous Pirates next. A Grazing Whiptail. A Heartless Pillage. That's also a card that I don't see very often. Uh, a Sentinel Totem. That's cool. Yes. And an, another Emissary of Sunrise. Yay. And your rare or mythic. Ooh, is a Sun Petal Grove. Uh, oh. I don't actually know. It's a it's a dual land, but it is, yeah, it's number 27. A little rough. Yikes. Behind it. Ooh, holy crap. Mm. <laughs> what? That is not cool. <laughs> you got... A foil Wakening Sun's avatar, which... Can you see the foiling? Kind in, of. Uh, in non-foil, it's number 32. It is still yeah. on the list in non-foil, which means we have to look it up, because Amy got a foil rare. 
That's unfortunate. You're not supposed to do that. Only I'm allowed to get foil rares. Shut Actually, up. is that a foil mythic? Am I wrong? I think this is a mythic. I think so. It is a mythic. You're the worst. <laughs> okay, uh, guys, we're going to cut and we'll be back in a second with Amy's Rivals box. All right, as promised, we are back with Amy's Rivals bundle. We'll see if she can pick it up because she really needs to. Yep. I mean, you know, obviously it's competition, ah. so I want to win, but I also want Amy to do well because... There's too much stuff in here. <sighs> they should stop that. They should stop that. I mean, we could just buy packs. You know, <laughs> That's also an option. No, we can't okay. because that would ruin the title of these videos. <laughs> Fiance <Duh>. pack battle. <laughs> yeah. It's a blue die. Oh. Sorry. That's okay. We, we got four different colors among four different bundles. That's cool. Okay. That's fine. It's something. All right. Moving on to Amy's Rivals of Ixalan packs. We start with a Moment of Craving pack. <clears throat> And you get a Goblin Trailblazer, a Legion Conquistador, Sea Legs, Knight of the Stampede. That's a gorgeous card, too. Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, a Recover, Plummet, Evolving Wilds, Bombard, Luminous Bonds, Sworn Guardian. A oh, you're ch oh, you got a cherished hatchling. I know you liked that guy a lot. Yeah, I do. That's your first uncommon. A ravenous chupacabra. It's on the list. Is the second, and a storm fleet sprinter is the third. And your rare or mythic is also on the list with Yay. a war kite marauder. Thank God. So that's something. Followed by a swamp and an ad card. With the Minecraft, I like this one. <laughs> yeah, Minecraft skin. <clears throat> Minecraft skins of Chandra and etc. So there you go. On to your next pack. Yeah. You get good start so far. You have a divine verdict. A spire monitor. A spire winder, excuse me. A spire monitor is a whole different card. A Raska Raptor. <laughs> Fathom Fleet Border. Araska Frillback, a Moment of Craving, whoops, yep. <laughs> there's that <laughs> card that you were talking about earlier, Luminous Bonds. Yeah, I got that one just a second ago. Oh, there you go. Dark Inquiry. I wasn't paying attention, I guess, even though I was reading it off. <laughs> Soul of the Rapids. He's cool. Yes. Impale is also cool, although more for playability. There is a Reckless Rage as your first uncommon. Ooh, on the list, Merfolk Mistbinder. Mm, very nice. Pretty, too. Great card. So good. And another Stormfleet Sprinter. Mm. And your Rare or Mythic is also on the list with yes. a Direfleet Poisoner. Good. All right, all right. You can you can cool it now. Uh, there's a Forest <laughs> and a Treasure Token. You don't need to, you know, you don't need to go crazy. Uh, yes, I do. I, I mean, oh, God. I still have to beat you. Damn it. You've got so many good Yeah, and you still have a me. chance to. This is awful. Ah, <laughs> good. All right. Um, yeah, if you're getting two cards per pack, Jesus. All right. So you have a Crashing Tide, an Araska Raptor, a Raptor Companion, a Dinosaur Hunter, an Aggressive Urge, Buccaneer's Bravado, Shatter. Sorry, my ear is itchy. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. A Water Knot. That one's so cool. Yeah, it's a really cool card. I like that art a lot. A uh, Gleaming Barrier. A Strider Harness. A Horn Swoggle. Yay. You got a Horn Swoggle. Another Reckless Rage. And a Forerunner of the Coalition. And your Rare or Mythic? God damn it is a trap jaw tyrant on the list. Uh, it, oh, okay, it's, it's number 17. Down. It's a ways down. Okay, I, I still, it's a mythic, it's on the list. You have a swamp and a merfolk token. Still, like there, you could open a pack that just doesn't have any, that'd be cool too. But. Nah, I know. I'm good. I know, I can tell, Jesus. All right, <clears throat> so you start with another goblin trailblazer, another legion conquistador, a Sea Legs, Dusk Legion Zealot, Knight of the Stampede, a Fathom Fleet Border, Jade Bearer. I like this picture yeah, too. Yeah. 
Uh, another Luminous Bonds, very nice. Getting a bunch of those. Colossal Dreadmaw. Another I'll be Dark the Luminous Inquiry. Luminous Bonds. Queen. Yeah, I guess. Legion Lieutenant is your first uncommon. Nice oh, this card. This one I haven't seen before. Oh, it's so good. Really, really good. It is cool. Yes. Uh, another Ravenous Chupacabra on the list still. I've got like 20 of those now. Yeah, thanks. Rub that in. Uh, a Cacophodon, which hmm. is an amazing name for a card. Yeah. He and. Looks, he looks cool too. Yeah. And a Tomb Robber is your rare. So hmm. you still didn't open a pack with nothing in it, but that's not on the list. Behind it is a forest and a treasure token. So yeah, keep getting those chupacabras. They're great. Yeah. I... Really, really good card. It's low on the list, don't get me wrong, but it's still over a dollar. It counts, like I said. Okay, what? <laughs> maybe maybe if I do it from the ah, bottom. Ah, there yeah. you go, you got okay. it. Okay. Nicely done. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Another goblin trailblazer to start. It is a small set. A Moment of Triumph, Crashing Tide again, Moment of Craving, Aggressive Urge, Water Knot, Araska Relic. Mm. I like that card a lot. Yeah, the art is one. cool. I mean, it's okay and limited or anything, but the art is cool. It'd be cool in foil. Yes, agreed. Squire's Devotion, A Secrets of the Golden City. Mm, that one's cool. It is cool. An Overgrown Armasaur. Riverwise Augur is your Ooh. first uncommon. I'm getting some interesting ones in this pack. A Daring Buccaneer is the second. And an Everdawn Champion is the third. Hmm. And your rare or mythic is the Sphinx's Decree. Not on the list, but a sweet piece of art with Azor on it, which I yeah. like a lot. Uh, a Swamp behind that. And another one of those ad cards that you like. I don't, because it's an ad card. But it's still, it's Minecraft. It's, it's got cool. Minecraft. Yeah. I think it's cute. It is. It's, it's cool. Well, you opened your first pack with nothing in it, but that does not mean I'm in a good position yet. We'll see. You have a Sanguine Glorifier, a Sea Legs, Sun Collared Raptor, Vampire Revenant. I like that card a lot. I think it looks like a Dementor. Yeah. Oh, totally. Harry Potter all the way. <clears throat> Ah, uh, you have a Deadeye Rig Hauler, Shatter, Gleaming Barrier, Exultant Sky Marcher. Oh, I haven't seen that one either. Oh, I feel it's so like. cool. I think I opened one earlier, but Maybe. regardless. It's pretty. Yes. A Strider Harness, and a Highland Yay. Lake. You got one of your own. Yay. It is so your. Happy. Yeah, and then an Imperial Ceratops. And you got your own Majestic Heliopterus. Yay. And your rare is. Release to the Wind, which is not... I don't know what I, how I feel about that card. It's definitely not on the list, but I don't know how I feel about it. Ooh, and you Ooh. got a Foil Uncommon. Hmm, that's cool. In the Slippery Scoundrel. I don't believe it's on the list on its own, but we will look it up because it's in Foil. So we will uh, okay. we'll add it to the stack. You got a Planes behind that and a Golem token that goes with my Foil Golden Guardian. Whatever. You can't have it. <laughs> and my non-foil golden guardian. <laughs> That's not on the list, so I don't know why I'm bragging about it. But the foil one probably is. <laughs> okay. Whatever, dude. Yep. Next you have sea legs. Stampeding horncrest. Another sanguine glorifier. A voracious vampire. Jade craft artisan. Yay. Yeah, he's, he's on cool. there, no? No. Not as a common. No commons are on the list. Uh, oh, uh, it was Jade Light Ranger that I was Oh, yeah, of. no, that's much higher on the list. Please, Sorry. Please don't get one of those. Moment of Craving. Please do get one of those. Oh, yeah, it's a cool-looking card. Evolving Wilds. Uh, Buccaneer's Bravado. Bombard. A Jungle Creeper is your first oh, uncommon. he's cool. He is cool. He is cool. I like him. A... Woodland Stream Ooh. is the second. Yay, uncommon. Woodland Stream. Yeah, very cool. I like Woodland Stream. <laughs> Good. I remember it from one of the other sets. Yes, I don't remember which one, but yes, I remember that you liked that card. I made a day cool well. meme of it. Yes. Uh, and a Dead Eye Brawler. And your rare is Brass's Bounty. Not on the list, 
Lame. But you do get another foil in Night of the Stampede. <gasps> yes. That one you liked. You oh, talked about liking so it earlier. Pretty. It is very cool. Uh, Look I, how cool that I is. I doubt that it will be over a dollar, but put it on the stack. We will yeah. check for ourselves. You guys can't really see it. Then. Yeah, there you go. You're you're getting it a little bit. It's a lot of green going on. <laughs> it's, a, it's like it's a green card or something. It looks really cool in foil. In I person. promise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You just can't really tell. <laughs> All right. Behind that, you have a swamp and a vampire token. You've got three packs left. And you start with this Sun Sentinel pack. Ooh, that one opened quickly for you. That's nice. Yeah. All it's right. It's too fast. Sorry. Uh, That's what God, I do. God, it's like so tightly on there. Yeah. Yikes. Another goblin. Tra this guy really likes you. This goblin trailblazer. Yeah, I don't really like him. No. Oh wow! All right, I see how it is. A moment of triumph. He must be my stalker. A crashing tide. Dusk charger. You like that guy earlier? Yes, I do. So there you go. A hunt the week. You got one of those yeah, as well. Yeah. That's cool. Another vampire revenant dementor. A gruesome fate. Dead eye rig hauler. Mutiny. Forerunner of the Heralds. Mm. That's cool. An Ever Dawn Champion. And a Swift Warden. And That's your rare. A picture too. Yes, I mean, again, Merfolk. And your rare is a Crafty Cut Purse. Oh, that's your foil? foil? You got a foil rare again? <laughs> oh, fine. It also means that your rare is a flip card. And as long as it's not like Golden Guardian, you're probably going to get something good that's on the list. And you get. A Hadana's Climb. Yeah, that's on the list. It's not high up there, but it's definitely on the list. Oh, I didn't love this art. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's on the back side of the page. But it's still on the list, so it gets added, and it flips into the Winged Temple of Oraska. There you go. Climb up and get the Winged Temple. That's cool. Behind that, a treasure token. Wait, is this one on the list? Oh, it is. Okay. Oh, it is. And you have two packs left. A Frilled Death Spitter is on this second to last pack. I think you're getting closer, to yeah, be honest. Yeah, I think I might actually, like... No, don't do defeat it. Defeat you. No, don't do it. <laughs> okay, so you have a Swaggering Corsair, a Legion... Oh, this one feels like two. Hmm, I don't might think be just so. thick. Yeah. Interesting. Weird. A Legion Conquistador. Sea Legs. A Plummet. Recover. Jadecraft Artisan. Mm. Impale. Evolving Wilds. I really like this one. I'm glad I have like three now. Evolving Wilds? <laughs> yeah. They, they outdo themselves with Evolving Wilds arts because they're reprinted so many times. Uh. Buccaneers Bravado. So they kind of have to spice it up by having cool art. Bombard. A Foul Orchard is your first uncommon. Oh, I haven't gotten this one before. Oh, no. Yeah, it's a sweet card. Uh, a Famished Paladin. Oh, he's cool, too. He is cool. He's an interesting card. I don't know how I feel about him, to be honest. Hmm. And, very awesome, oh. a Silver Gill Adept. That is Beautiful. so pretty. Yeah, the art by Magali Villeneuve. She's the same one who did the, the negate art that you liked earlier. Yeah. Amazing artist she is. And your rare... No. Your rare is Deeper Delete. That is on the list. Yay. Not high, but it's on the list. I've got something. So there you go. Mountain Minecraft. Mountain, yeah, there you go. Did I lie to you? Oh, hey. wow, it's actually, Deeper and Elite is number 12. I'm sorry for saying it wasn't high on the list. It's not top 10, but it's not where I thought it was. I thought it was Pretty closer good. to the end. Amy is on to her last pack of Rivals of Ixalan. One big card here could totally turn this around for her, and that's not a good position for me to be in. Well, when I dig out all my other chupacabras. <laughs> all right, Swaggering Corsair is first. Sanguine Glorifier. A... Crashing Tide again. I don't know why I didn't know it. You've had a million of them. <laughs> a Fathom Fleet Border. A Hardy Veteran. Oh, this one's new for me. Is it? Okay. Yeah. I got some earlier. It's a sweet card. Strider Harness. A Water Knot again. A Rascal Relic again. Gruesome Fate again. Mm -hmm. Small set. You're going to get a lot of duplicates. Secrets of the Golden City. You have an Enter the Unknown as your first uncommon. Mm. 
a golden demise as the second. I love that card too. Oh, that's so awesome. It's really sweet. Really, really sweet card. Love it. (laughs) And an aquatic incursion is your third. Unique uncommons in this pack. And your final rare or mythic is apparently a flip card. (laughs) And it is another Hadana's Climb. Ugh. Yeah, the other ones would have been better, but Hadana's Climb is sweet, and it once again flips into the winged temple of Araska. I'm not happy about it. I would like something different, because I don't really like this art very much. Yeah. And that's pretty much the only reason why I want the cards. (laughs) Uh, And behind it is a treasure token. Guys, we'll be back in just a second, and you will find out definitively who won. Yeah. Okay, so we are back. We have tabulated the results. We have the stacks together. This stack here is Amy's stack. This stack here is my stack. These are the stacks, like we, like we said, of all cards that total a dollar or more, as of the recording of this video, uh, TCG uh, market prices. That's how we do it. Uh, again, please check the date. That's the weekend that we filmed this, was the weekend before the video came out. Uh, these are our lowest values. Before you look at it and you're like, those aren't valuable. They're not, but they are the lowest values of cards that we got. Uh, For cards like Slaughter the Strong, those are something that I got two of. Amy, for example, got two Ravenous Chupacabras. She got two Hadana's Climbs. So there were some duplicates here. We obviously counted all the duplicates. Um, Amy, in total, her stack had 16 cards in it. My stack has 13 cards in it. But because quantity does not always equal quality, there is the issue of the span of pricing. In Amy's stack, her lowest value card, the difference between her lowest value card and her highest value card is just about three and a half dollars, right? Three dollars and fifty cents between the lowest value and the highest value. Whereas with my stack, my difference between my lowest value and my highest value is about thirteen dollars and thirty cents. Uh, I was not aware of two different, uh, you know, I talk about not necessarily knowing foil values. Um, We talked about the Awakening Sun's avatar, and I figured that this foil mythic would be worth quite a bit of money. It was okay, uh, but it was Amy's third most valuable card after Deep Root Elite and Settle the Wreckage. Again, at the time of recording this video. For me, and you guys may know this, maybe I, maybe it's just me, but for me, the thing that I was the most surprised by was my foil common opt. This card is so valuable, it's almost worth as much money as Settle the Wreckage plus Deep Root Elite. It is almost equivalent to it. And in fact, it is worth more than either of those cards combined with Awakening Sun's Avatar. I was not expecting that, that this card would be worth that much money as a common foil, and it's not even my most expensive card because Carnage Tyrant takes that one uh, being very, very expensive. I was surprised at how expensive. I knew it was uh, high on the list, but I did not know that it was as expensive as it actually is. So... I mean, honestly, I personally think that the uh, the standard bands did a really good job of fixing the affordability, or not the affordability, the value, I should say, of these sets, because now there are, is more opportunity for them to be in standard and not having to fight against, you know, uh, relevance w- with energy. So, anyway, if you didn't get it, that means that with my total of $57.81, It beats out Amy's total of $41.38. And so we will be back in just a second to see Amy suffer a punishment. Okay, so I am currently not on camera. Amy is, because you see, I won. Amy didn't. And so even though it has been a very, very long time, Amy is going to suffer a punishment. And it is about time <laughs> that Amy suffers a punishment in one of these. Uh, yeah, I guess I can take one for the team this time around. <laughs> I've taken because enough. It's usually, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, but we usually like to keep our punishments a little bit of a secret. As always, if you have ideas for punishments, leave them in the comments. But 
Uh, we don't promise we'll do them, we're just, you know, suggestions are always nice. But this time around, Amy is super excited mm -hmm. because she, wow. <laughs> she gets to have something to eat, a little snack, right? What's your snack that you've brought with you today, Amy? This onion. Amy is eating an onion. You might not know it's an onion because Amy is going to be eating it like it's an apple. But I assure you, it is not an apple. So, while, why don't we all watch as Amy rips into this onion. There is uh, some covering on it, so we're going to... Or we... She. I'm not doing anything. It's your punishment. You are ripping the kind of the covering, the coating, whatever you want to call it, off of the onion. The outer layers. And then Amy's going to eat... I, I do not expect her to eat that whole thing. I'm not going to make you guys sit here for all of that. Nor am I going to force her through all of that because I have I have not suffered a punishment that bad. But we'll ask her good to luck trying. <laughs> but we will ask her to take a good big bite, and then if she can muster a second one, then we'll have her do that as well. Uh, and then we'll you know waste the rest of the onion. And by that I mean we'll we'll find something to do with it. But uh, okay, there we go. But yeah, you it. expose it a little bit, and then you're going to take a nice big bite. And we'll see how it goes. I have never personally eaten an onion before. I like them cooked. Uh, sometimes I like like red onions raw on sandwiches, but not that kind. Those kinds of onions do not go on sandwiches. I like onions a lot. Um, I cook with them differently. <laughs> yeah. Cooked, um, I like those onions too. I, I like raw onions depending on what it is. You know, like on tacos or something like that. Raw onions is nice, or like you said, on salad. Um, but uh, <laughs> I, uh, I really don't want to take a gigantic bite of this thing. It's really kind of gross. Well, then you probably should have had a more valuable uh, set of bundles then, shouldn't you? <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's what happens. You trash talked quite a bit. I, I won, but Thank not you. by much. It was pretty close, actually. I'm not going to lie. I mean, you guys heard the value totals, and they may not have been close necessarily, but it definitely put me on my toes uh, until we finished looking all that stuff up. So, yeah, uh, this that's is... That's not true. You were pretty cocky for a while. And yeah. I started coming up from behind. And yeah. Kicking... You started kicking getting... your ass very mildly <laughs> until... <laughs> until we realized that no, you, you still won. Yeah, until we realized that I almost opened a $10 foil common. <laughs> Just crazy. Yeah, that is insane. <laughs> it's too much. I mean, look, it's cool. It's a great card. There's a reason they reprinted it, but still. I think ops are stupid. <laughs> That's just me. Alright, how you looking over there? I, it's mostly unwrapped. Okay. Well, you're not t you're not eating the whole thing, so feel free to yeah, just find I'll a just, spot. I think I'll just leave this piece on because I can't get it off and it's taking too long. So, bottoms up. It's very green under here. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah, whenever you are. It's not about me being ready. Well, I won't be ready, so <laughs> I might this as well great. just do it. I'm enjoying this way too much. Okay, well, at least one of us is. <laughs> oh. That was a big bite. <laughs> oh. It's not that bad. It's not yet. <laughs> See, usually when... <laughs> mm -hmm. There it nope, is. There it is. Usually when we're on this set, I sit next oh, to Amy. It's burning my throat. <laughs> but... I don't, I'm, I, I mean, again, I like onions, but I also cut them, and my eyes don't like onions, so. <laughs> oh, my God. So I'm over here. After the camera goes off, Amy will be able to have as much water as she wants. I'm not a terrible person, uh, but, yeah, for I'm now. wash this down with soy milk. Okay, that too. Whatever you want. Coat. <laughs> Whatever you want. We've got what you need. Oh. You taking that second bite? I see you looking not, at it. Not yet. I still have half a bite left. <laughs> This is great. This but look how that was a good bite. That was a pretty big bite. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, it's tooth marks over here. <laughs> okay. Like an indent just like matching the as, teeth. I don't know. As long as it's yours. Ah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. All right, nobody is allowed to ever say that Amy doesn't commit anymore. Those are big bites. <laughs> Holy crap. 
crap. <laughs> I'd come back. I know. I didn't say that you didn't. I'm saying that no one's allowed to say that you don't. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is great. It's burning. <laughs> Alright, well, if you want to take a third bite, you're welcome to. No, okay, but, but otherwise, you're you're done now with that. Guys, I want... <laughs> uh, while you enjoy Amy's misery... Ew, it, like, seeped onto my hand. You're not allowed to leave yet. You're still staying there. Damn it. <laughs> We're not done with this video yet. Uh, we, we still have to thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, I think this was a really nice way to commemorate... The last small set was to do both together. Oh no, now my eye? <laughs> well, stop touching your eye. I didn't. All right. <laughs> but yeah, this was, I think it was a nice way to commemorate the last small set was doing them both together. I think that it is a nice send off. I think it's a little bit longer than most of our other fiance finance bundle battles. So thank you guys for sticking it out and watching. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. I'm certainly not. <laughs> Uh, let us know what you thought of the video in the comments down below. Am I too cruel? Uh, is it, you know, finally about time because Joe suffered like four punishments in a row or something like that and now Amy is, is finally suffering one? Uh, seriously, let us know your thoughts. Let us know what you thought of the bundles. Were they typical? Were they amazing? Were they lackluster? Uh, if you opened any and you have some cool opening stories... Etc. I'm just gonna keep dragging this out as long as I can, but no, I'm I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm kidding. I, I will I will end it by saying if and when our logo pops up on the screen, you can feel free to click that and subscribe, uh, and you will not have to eat any onions at all for that. You can just watch all of our videos. But um, yeah, we have these types of videos, opening videos, right? Every Monday, we have story reviews with Amy and I actually sitting on that set and enjoying ourselves every Thursday. And I do magic online drafts that I post to the channel every Saturday. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. From Geek For All, I've been Joe. And I'm Amy. <laughs> that was like really quiet too. All right, we're gonna get Amy something to drink. <laughs> Thank you guys once again, and as we always say, in whichever video of ours you watch next, we will see you all next time. Thanks, everybody.